change. What a lovely view. I meant the window. Come on, guys, she's 14. It's locked and will not open. We don't need Chris Hansen coming in here. I wonder if it's on. The TV doesn't work. Damn. I wanted to watch Dateline. Maybe it's not plugged in properly. Lavender water. Another thing like Haunting Ground. That probably reduces panic then, I'd imagine, like in Haunting Ground. Though, Haunting Ground was made after this, so... It's obviously Haunting Ground that takes influence from this, not the other way around. Okay, so, yeah, we check that room out. Oh, we've not been down this way. Nothing of interest here. What? That is bullshit. Well, how does she know what door she does and doesn't need to go into? Alright then, well, we'll just go through that door that we broke the sigil on. This away. Mum? Mum? Press X for Mum. This plane is immaculately clean. Ooh, a boarded door. The old door has been boarded up. I can't remember this door ever having been opened. What about this? Ooh, someone's behind the door. I'll save you. Holy water! Holy water doesn't seem to work on this sigil. Oh, what is it? Is it too badass for holy water? Fine. Be that way. Ooh, Nancy. So this is Mum's room. Mum! The three-way mirror has been folded up. Good Lord! Must have left in a hurry. The wardrobe door is still open. Mum never left her wardrobe door open. Uh, Camera keeps confusing me. What's this? Who's in that portrait? It's been in there forever. Okay. Another clock. The clock has stopped. You'd need special winding keys to get it working again. Okay. So now we're into repairing clocks, apparently. What's this shiny thing, then? A photo. Ah, uh, memories. What's going to happen now? Mum, I came back home. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum? Maybe she's under the pillow. Oh. Just a book. Oh my god, it's him! Looks like Winston Churchill on crack. <laughs> oh, music! I hate music! Who's playing that? Where's the sound coming from? A piano, perhaps? Who's doing that? A penist, perhaps? <laughs> penist. He does a lot of Winston Churchill. Darkness. What the? Okay, whatever you say, game. Uh, I'm guessing it's not going to let me go back through to Nancy's room then. The door is sealed shut. 
No wonder Mum always told me to keep out of her room. That's some fucked up shit. How we're outside now. Uh oh. Shit. Oh my god. Metal gear. Fuck. What the hell? We've gone back in time. I mean, our mum's room. Oh shit! I've heard of catching a bus, but this is ridiculous! Nancy's room is like some sort of hot tub time machine. But a room as opposed to a hot tub. There's that piano music again. If we locate the piano, we can stop it. It won't open. Oh wait, that's just where I came from, isn't it? Okay, head towards the creepy piano music. It's probably Rebecca Chambers. Chris, may I practice for a while? Ooh, Blood. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Wanna see a dead body? Let's poke it with a stick. Sir, are you okay? Shit, they stole his ring. Suppose he's dead, may as well rob his ass. Ooh, a phone box. <laughs> Holy fucking... what? The ring! Give me back my ring! I don't have your ring, you undead noob. Fuck. That's it. Eat holy water! What the fuck? No, eat holy water, bitch! The power of Christ compels you, bitch! Fuck. Um. Let's ring the Ghostbusters. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Engagement ring. Oh, so that's that's where the dude's ring is. What the hell? Spiritual healing. When I get that feeling, I need spiritual healing. When you find a sentimental item that belongs to a person who died of unnatural causes, return it to its rightful owner. If it is a ring, put it in its case. If it is a half hard pendant, put it together with the other half. By returning these sentimental items, spirits are healed, and Alyssa may obtain another item, or valuable information, in return. Sounds like a fair trade. Right then, is this guy going to let me give him his ring back quietly? <laughs> Get down on one knee and propose. Will you marry me? A 14-year-old girl and a ghost getting married. I smell a sitcom! Right, have your stupid ring. Thank you, little girl. Now I am complete. And he's left us a gift. A sigil stone. Hmm. Yay. I think. I don't know. What does it do? I'd have preferred an iPod. We'll take an attack on your behalf. Just once. Well, that's, that's reasonable. Uh, oh, can't go that way. Go this way. Ooh, that's a lion water fountain that Nancy was talking about. It's a drinking fountain shaped like a lion. You can save game data and refill your holy water bottle here. Definitely refill that shit. The bottle has been refilled. Good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's save as well while we're here. Weird how it can only hold like three shots. I mean, surely it depends on how much you throw out each time. I mean, that's to say that you're going to throw out the exact same amount of water each time. No, oh, I don't know. 
Okay. Piano music's coming from this way. Another sigil. Aha! I can hear a piano. Is it coming from that hall over there? There's only one way to find out. Let's go check it out! Out the way. No, not holy water. Yeah. Master of unlocking. Right, well, since I'm in this area, I may as well go and refill it. Don't know how long it's going to be until I bump into another one of these. Yes, I know what it is. Refill it, you stupid... Okay. Uh... It's a thing, like... This is only the second ever blind playthrough I've done. The first one being The Grudge. But obviously The Grudge was quite a short game. I have no idea how long this game is. And I have no idea how many times I'm going to get stuck during it, so... You're going to have to be patient with me on this one. Ooh, what's this? A gold fountain pen. Sweet. Oh, fuck a ghost. I guess it's his gold fountain pen. Give me back my pen, bitch. I will fuck your shit up, little girl. Stealing my pen. Oh, shit. There's a, that must be where he died. Here's your stupid gold pen. Thank you for returning my pen. Now I can die peacefully. <laughs> Some sick, important pen. What have I got? Invisibility band. What does it do? Well, what doesn't it do? Ring worn for temporary invisibility. Right, so that ghost had a ring that made him temporarily invisible, but he'd rather have a pen. Someone said to you, hey, you can pick one or two things, a ring that makes you invisible, or a pen. You wouldn't go, the pen, the pen. Did I mention it's a gold pen? Shit, that's even better. You can't write a letter with an invisibility ring. Can I crawl under? I can. My shiny, mine. Grab the shiny. Maybe I have to stand up first. Damn it, she doesn't want to stand up right away. I think she thinks she's a dog or something. What's this then? Lavender water. All the joy of lavender in water form. It's about time they made a lavender drink. An imposing gate prevents anyone from entering. Gate thinks it's so big. Ooh. So we've got the bridge and a sigil. Check out this sigil area. What's this? There are expensive looking suits on display. Well, we're gonna break in and steal one of those suits. Ooh! Face full of glass. Uh, yeah, we'll go in here first. It's just something in that bridge obviously leads to the concert hall. But we might as well check this place out first in case there's any goodies in here. Like a gun, perhaps. Though that's highly unlikely. If it's anything like haunting ground, we probably won't get anything like that. What the hell? Oh, right, this is obviously like a hiding spot. <laughs> a hiding spot behind a see through curtain. You can't see me! this? More lavender water. Bloody hell. Bloody hell! This is everywhere, old bean. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're not likely to give a, uh, since the main character's 14, they're not going to give a 14-year-old a gun in a game, are they? Seems weird, having like a 14-year-old girl as the main character. 
Get down! I mean, you know how funny some people are. I mean, if she gets killed in this game, 